We're going to look at race number nine right now in actual fact as well. It's a class three contest over the extended mile, the 1650. Good lineup as well with Beauty Fit at last start winner. His breakthrough win in actual fact at uh, Shantin at start number five. Hall of Champs won two of his last three and Blake Shins two from two on the horse. He jumps back on board. Elaine Wisdom Star won course and distance, two starts back. Farshad is a two time course and distance winner this uh, season. Exceptional, nice behind Farshad, three starts back and then Elaine Wisdom Star last time out. Total Power is a last start winner. That was in class four. Gallant Crowns had a good season winning three times. A Nordic Warrior up from the 14 to the 1650. All of his wins, though, so far have been at the 1200 metres. Does get in with a, a light weight, though. OK, before we have a look at um, some of the, uh, the horses uh, in action, let's have a look at uh, the horses as far as the speed map is concerned. And again, uh, we're saying good to slow in the early stages for this one, uh, Tom, but it's normally pretty helter-skelter down to the first turn. It normally is, and a horse like Goffman Star won't want to get caught three wide up on the pace like he did last time out, so he might fire up from gate number 12 and come across. But Exceptional Nice has got good gate speed, and he's drawn uh, much lower down in uh, gate uh, number two. Behind them, you've got uh, Farshad with uh, total power and the Hall of Champer, Paul, I think somewhere probably midfield the ideal position for him. Yeah, he should get a nice run just in behind. And the, the interesting thing, well, Farshad, will he go forward as well? He, he can be a bit of a handful, um, Farshad, and he's a horse that can pull in the run. So if he starts doing that, I wouldn't be surprised if they did go forward with him as well. Helene Wisdom Star, looks a, a bit of a problem for him out there. Uh, what's he going to do? He's going to have to try and slot in somewhere midfield. And Beauty Fit, uh, coming to Happy Valley for the first time from Barrier 11, Zach Purton aboard. So will he, will he take the bull by the horns, go forward or try and slot in there? It's a couple of um, scenarios for Beauty Fit as well. I think it probably all depends, Andrew, what Beauty Fit does at the start because we have seen him in the, the past here in his limited starts in Hong Kong, missed the kick on a couple of occasions. All right, well, Beauty Fit's probably a good place to start on the back of that uh, last start win. And Tom was out at track work to catch up with his jockey, Zach Purton. Zach Beauty Fit going around in the, the last race. He won at his fifth attempt to last start here in Hong Kong, coming with wraps. Um, did he make it a bit tough over the final stage wanting to lug in? Yeah, he's got that habit of wanting to, to hang in, but I think it's because he doesn't want to change his leg. He's, he's on his tired leg, and because of that, you know, naturally they, they're going to want to get in uh, a little bit. So hopefully uh, one day he can learn to do everything properly, and then I'm, I'm sure he'll progress through the ratings a little bit more. We've seen him miss the start and as a consequence get back. We've seen him be handy midfield. Um, he was midfield last time out. Where do you sort of feel his best sort of racing pattern is? Oh, it's, it's, it's up to him. As you said, he can be a bit funny in the gates. He's, he's missed the start a few times and I think going to Happy Valley for the first time under lights um, and being drawn towards the outside. Not that there's a crowd there, but there's a little bit more for him to look at. So it's probably fraught with danger a little bit, but he did everything right last time and if he can break clean, he could possibly settle in the first half of the field, and I think that's a good posi position for him. He won over the mile last time out, but he's been tried up to 1,800 metres. Uh, is the mile his best sort of go, or will he get up to 18 potentially further? Yeah, I think a mile is a, a good distance for him, but uh, I can't see why he couldn't run a little bit further um, You know, once he starts doing everything right. Interesting comments there from Zach. So suggesting, Tom, that he would settle in the first half of the field. You can see that whole not changing legs thing all the way down the straight. He was on his right lead. Wouldn't change. Yeah, he just wouldn't change at all. And uh, look, he was just wanting to lug in over the final stage and do a few things wrong. And so I think the start will definitely be key tomorrow night, as uh, Zach pointed out. No real significant crowd at Happy Valley, but he's drawn near the outside. So going to be a few different things to look at for his first time under lights there as well. Yeah, that's the key, isn't it? He's a horse who does to do a few things wrong and he's coming to Happy Valley, which can be a tricky race course at the best of times under lights for the first time but it was a good one from him last time uh, and we, you don't know he might he might just really thrive there so uh, there's a few ifs and buts with him yeah, it might be the turning point because he came with a, a decent reputation and um, he's got a big engine I'm sure of that but what of his rivals well this horse is in tremendous form all a champ won two of his last um, three and I, I thought Paul did it with a bit of um, bit of ease last time he did look he stepped up and in, back into here into class three in which he hadn't performed in the past and won really nicely she's got this really good turn of foot uh, Hall of Champ, he comes back here to Happy Valley. Now, he hasn't won at Happy Valley. He's only been placed once from those four goes here. But uh, the way he's in form at the moment, he's a very hard horse to leave out. Yeah, low gate. Uh, I know the horse has dropped 11 pounds, but he also has to carry an extra 10 pounds here. So he's carrying top weight of 133. But I think just on that effort alone, I think he's still got rating points in hand. I'm not concerned about the, the weight uh, rise here. Um, hit the front of the 250 and did that oh so easily.
Mm. The only defeat, or well, he's a defeat two stars. So he's only beaten a nose. He won his previous one as well. Um, this is Naboo Star, not Naboo Attack. Naboo Star up at uh, Chung Fa Tom at the trials. Uh, he's now with David Hayes. Yeah, he's been fresh into coming into this. Not seen since the 17th of uh, March behind Right Honourable, and that hasn't actually been a bad form race. Really, the Hulk's come out and won a couple of times. Uh, Total Power, who's a race rival, and he's won. Also, Telecom Fighters. So the last start of his uh, a decent form reference, and he seemed to do uh, it quite nicely in this uh, recent uh, trial. So I wouldn't be leaving him out, to Paul with his first up and course and distance record? No, definitely. I, I actually got him on top. I think uh, he, he does go well fresh. He's won fresh in the past. And he seems to have really thrived up here at Chungfa. All right, OK, we're getting technical with this one. This is Gallant Crown. Um, here he is. We can uh, mark him on the outside here as they swing into the straight. And we've got the two different angles, the head-on and the lateral, so you can get everything uh, taken in here as far as he's concerned. Paul, it was a, a solid fourth for him last time out. Yeah, it was. It was a nice fourth from him, and he does come in from... The coveted barrier number one with a low draw, so there's a few positives. His wins were in uh, class four, he's now up to the bottom of class three. He did hit the line nice enough, I don't think. There was a little bit of tightening at the at the very end there, but I don't think it affected the placing. He's had a recent quiet trial coming into this as well. The horse himself, he's uh, dropped to ten pounds. He settled well back uh, last time out in the, the run. It was just a field of uh, nine there, but he wasn't beaten overly fast. So with the light weight, no doubt uh, with the, the low draw as well, he can be competitive here. Yeah, his wins did come in, in Class 4 company, but limited opportunities in Class 3. He might be good enough. Uh, but again, in an open-looking race, Paul, exceptional nice is actually our favourite at this stage. Yeah, and I haven't got exceptional nice in, but I think it's one of those races where you're going to get a reasonable dividend. He's at 4.1, so whatever whatever happens, there'll be some good odds. I'm gone with the four in the boost. Uh, he's got the good fresh-up record, really thriving up at... Um, uh, Chung Fa, and uh, I think he's going really well at the moment, this horse. So he's on top. A uh, Hall of Champs has been the one in good form at the moment. Beauty Fit, there's a few ifs and buts, as I said, coming to Happy Valley for the first time, but a strong win from him last time. And Gallant Crown, he should get a nice run from that low draw. 4, 2, 1 and 11. Very similar numbers to with Paul. The only one we differ with is with the game player times. I've got him in uh, game player times, but on top for me is the Hall of Champs. He's won his last two out of his last three outings. Uh, I don't know how he didn't uh, beat Super Tenor a couple of runs ago. Visually, it looked like he did, but I think he can win here again. Uh, Beauty fit is main danger. Game player times now. Not concerned about the turf for him. I know he's not done too much on the turf here so far, but he was a winner overseas on the turf on a, a couple of occasions, and one was at uh, Group 1 level game player times. Ran home nicely last start, and the boost star goes in fresh. So 2 1, 10, and 4. Two and one, the cue for me as well. It was just that draw for Beauty Fit which put me off a little bit. Hauler Champ, a horse in a very good form.